Hi everyone, it was my birthday the other day and I thought that it would be reason enough to get outside and to take some pictures. It's been a busy time with weddings and other photography work and I've been really looking forward to taking some random pictures just for myself. So I spent the day with my X-T3 and the 23mm f2 lens. Often the 23 f2 gets left behind when I want to take travel and social pictures. When that's the focal length that I want, I usually pick up the X100F instead. But recently I've actually been leaning towards bigger cameras. Not that the X-T3 is particularly big. It's so beautiful, I'm happy to wear it as a bit of camera bling around my neck all day. So here's my day in pictures, spent mostly looking up at the sky, at the trees and buildings in London. A few weeks ago someone left a comment saying that my pictures made their neck hurt. I didn't quite understand what they meant at the time, but perhaps I get that now. So sorry about that, most of these shots won't help with that feeling. Although remember, I'm looking up so that you don't have to, you're very welcome. But what can I say though, I just like it in the evening, when a bit of light hits a bit of a building. What could possibly be better than that? What a birthday treat. It's right up there with leisurely train journeys and seeing the blues and greens of sky and trees meeting. My reason for travelling to London wasn't just to take pictures of the tops of buildings at sunset. It was to be at a special event at a Waterstones bookshop the one on Gower Street, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that now. This is a really simple story about a friend of mine. Her name is Ziba Tulkani, and as you might imagine, her name is the plaything of every phone's autocorrect system. When I first knew her, she wrote a blog called Zebra Talks. I thought that was funny, and I loved the sense of humour she had about herself. Zeba and I met when I was photographing a book festival many years ago and she was volunteering there as a steward quite soon after arriving in the United Kingdom. She used to write these short vignettes on her blog. They often felt quite poetic and even dreamlike. In them she would recall her childhood in Saudi Arabia. She clearly had something to say and I used to occasionally ask her an obvious question. Do you think there's a book there? We've stayed good friends since those days working at the festival, and several years ago she asked me to be a guest at and photograph her wedding in Bangalore in India. Those few days in India are among the most special in my life, and I'll always be very grateful to her for giving me that experience. Over the past few years, Zebra has listened to my occasional worries, and I've listened to hers too. We've shared our thoughts and ideas on life, over many cups of tea. And I guess that brings us to the present. She wrote a book. Zeba, who I met at the book festival, wrote a whole damn book. And lots of people seem to absolutely love it. She was just interviewed on the BBC this week, and it was even featured in last month's Vogue magazine, the one with Idris Elba on the cover, which I think she liked quite a lot. So these are photos from the launch of her debut book in London. Her book is called My Past is a Foreign Country and it has the same birthday as me. It's been an exciting time and I couldn't be more happy for her. This is the first short paragraph of her book. I was four when I ran away from home for the second time. The first time a police officer found me and brought me home along with a big packet of crisps and a softy ice cream. I do not know how he figured out where I lived or whom I belonged to. I did not speak a word of Arabic and had no sense of direction. I think he must have had some help from the building caretakers in the area. The second time, the ordeal lasted much longer. <laughs> 